Okay, friends, uh, welcome to uh, part 8 of our video presentation uh, on uh, chapter 9. Uh, in this part, we will talk about uh, rapid application development or RAD, which is a variation of prototyping slash agile uh, development methodologies. Now, RAD is a hybrid methodology that combines features of both SDLC and prototyping. Uh, the most important goal of rapid application development is to produce a system quickly, you know, much faster than by using SDLC alone. Now, if you look at the phases or steps under the RAD approach, you see that it's very similar to prototyping where, you know, there's initial requirements planning and then, uh, you know, you, you present uh, those initial requirements to users and then you construct something and then, you know, you, once it's constructed, you receive feedback from users and then you show them again, you receive additional feedback. So the prototyping, the iterations are here. So that's that's where you're circling. And then at some point at the cutover data, you're saying, well, after five iterations, we are done. And you know this is our final system. Now, some of the defining uh, features or techniques that are used as a, as a part of rapid application development is, first of all, uh, joint application development. Now, joint application development, or JAD, uh, it's like a methodology for teamwork. So basically what happens, uh, there, is, there is a certain set of procedures uh, and uh, uh, approaches and uh, techniques and uh, documents for teams of users, meaning business users and IS spe specialists, to work together to define requirements. Uh, it's, it's a very intense and structured process and uh, the, the most important goal of this process is to minimize total time required for gathering information from multiple participants. So it's like uh, it's a teamwork approach, like you know, similar to Delphi, uh, Delphi uh, decision making where everybody gets together and follows certain scripts to quickly come up with user requirements and to finalize them. So that's one uh, uh, feature of rapid application development. Joint application development methodology is used. Uh, now I'll skip like you know I'll just talk about another uh, defining characteristic of RAD. Uh, uh, rapid application development uh, involves using a number of computer-aided software engineering tools or case tools. So basically, those are computerized tools to speed up some of the uh, critical steps in developing an information system. You know that involves diagramming tools for creating uh, logical models or graphical represent representation of data. Uh, you know, different uh, report generators uh, for quickly creating interface elements, let's say screen displays or forms, uh, analysis tools, uh, general repository of modules, of objects, uh, documentation generators, you know, uh, a tool that can generate, let's say, help system based on code, and then code generators. So, you know, uh, f uh, particular software tools that can, uh, you know, generate uh, code based on the logical model of, or flowchart. So all those things, they, uh, you know, they aim to speed up uh, information system development. So what are the advantages of RAD? Well, uh, dramatic savings in development time, that's the ultimate goal of this methodology, uh, focuses on essential system requirements. So one uh, one way in which they're trying to speed up the development is by not including requirements that are not essential. And then ability to uh, rapidly change system design at user request because there is a formal JD session and uh, you know that can be done uh, in a structured yet uh, quick manner. Uh, disadvantages. Quality may be sacrificed for speed. Uh, it, it's time-consuming commitment for key user personnel, meaning uh, during those uh, jo uh, uh, joint application development session sessions, uh, you know, you may spend like the whole day, you know, with some of the key personnel, let's say managers, and that's quite expensive because one hour of, of uh, employee time may be uh, quite costly. And then, uh, you know, again, because you're doing everything so fast, uh, you may take certain sh uh, short shortcuts around internal st standards, and that may impact uh, reusability or code, main code uh, maintenance uh, down the road. So those are the disadvantages of RAD. So that concludes uh, part 8 of our video presentation on Chapter 9. Thank you.